Thank you for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the August BAM Box Horror Box. Uh, I have to apologize <laughs> off the bat. I usually am happier and have a lot more energy, but uh, it's been a rough day. Uh, it's been a rough day. So um, hopefully this BAM Box can help lift my spirits because I know there's supposed to be a signed Funko Pop in this August BAM Box. Now this is the first time that BAM Box has, is doing a signed Funko Pop for the Horror Box. They've done, I think, three signed Funko Pops now for the pop culture one. I got two of those. Um, and then I stopped getting the pop culture box, as people who have been watching this know. I uh, don't remember any of the franchises for the August box. I remember them being pretty good, but I can't remember any of them, to be honest. And like I said, most interested in the signed Funko Pop. I'm not a big signed uh, or a big pop collector. I have a few pops that I really like, but I, you know, total, I have maybe 10 total. So not a big collector with pops. I like them. I think they're kind of cool, but I just don't want to put the money into it. Um, and room wise, where am I going to put all that stuff? You know, I know some people out there who watch this are know a lot about Funko pops. Uh, so there was someone who had commented on my last unboxing, the one that just I put up what two days ago uh, for the July horror box that finally came, uh, finally showed up. I was saying that I, I was hoping that it would be a, a signed Captain Spaulding um, Funko Pop for, for this box signed by Sid Haig. But someone had pointed out on that video to me who obviously knows Pops was like, that's like a $135 value Pop. So I was like, oh, okay, well then shows how much I know about Pops. That wouldn't even be possible. So, you know, but hey, uh, cat's over there. Let me throw this at her. Get it. Get it. Get it. There she goes. Oh, no. Three tissue papers. Get it. She's already checking it out, so that's good. All right, let's go. Uh, looks Feels like the first thing, the prop feels like a coin of sorts. Um, Neko, I can't even read it. I cannot even read it. What is it? I mean, with the way it looks, I mean, I know it wouldn't be this, but it looks like something from, like, Clash of the Titans. And I'm talking about the original, like, that's the one that I watched. I know there was an updated Clash of the Titans. I saw a small portion of that, and I was like, this sucks in comparison to the one that uh, Ray, Ray Harryhausen worked on. Which, by the way, Claymation is still legitimately good, in my opinion. I really like it. I go back and watch some of those movies from time to time, uh, especially the Harryhausen ones like Sinbad, uh, Jason Argonauts, uh, Clash of the Titans. And they still look cool. They still impress me, because that is hard work. But I don't know what this is. Like I've said before, when I do my unboxings, I, I don't really care for the props. So that doesn't really matter to me. Uh, let me go with the pin. I love the pins. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. So the pin is uh, done by Brian Romero. That is a familiar name to me. He's done, um, he's done a few of their pin designs, as far as I can remember. And it is Terrified. Oh, this is a good pin. This is a really good pin, actually. I really like this pin quite a bit. Oh, it looks so good. Like, the detail. Okay, I should just show you guys, right? Look at the detail on this. It's, it's um, for people who don't know, it's Art the Clown from Terrifier. Uh, so this is a really low-budget film, if you have not seen it. It's really, really low-budget, but they use their low-budget really well. It, it They put all the money in the right places, and the guy who, I don't know his name, sorry, off the off the top of my head the guy who plays art the clown did an outstanding job with that character um his mannerisms the way he smiles just the way he moves everything is so good i i've heard they're doing a sequel to that so i will definitely check it out plus there's a really brutal slash awesome kill scene in that film you know what i'm talking about if you've seen it if you haven't you should check it out it's really good man that looks really good take another look at this like that that looks good. That's really good detail on that. And it looks like Art the Clown. That's pretty impressive. That's... Mm, looking over there. That may be, like, the best horror pin detail-wise that we've gotten. Good job, Brian Romero. That was really good. Um, I'm going to do the Funko Pop last, by the way. Okay, so this is an art print done by artist Sam Dolch. It is entitled Clown. Okay, that makes sense. I got number uh, 1,181 out of 2,000. It is Pennywise Avi because the new It movie just came out, 
which I haven't seen the second or it chapter two yet, but I've heard not so great things, but I think part of it is in comparison to the first one. So I'll have to see it for myself and, and do my own assessment of it. But one of the things I'm hearing about it, this is not spoilery, is that there are moments where like it's terrifying or it's like jump scares or something. And then they cut to something funny way too fast. So it doesn't give you the time to like let the terror and the scary stuff sink in which that kind of sucks if that's true but i'll check it out um but this looks good i like this i really like this the way this looks obviously this is the uh bill skarsgård pennywise uh it really does look like his face and that smile in particular the shape of it it really looks like him uh that's really good i guess this this red portion and when i was first looking at him like what is that supposed to be there's a portion of a balloon right here after looking at it I like the style of it being like all cracked. Um, it looks good. Yeah, I mean, it looks it looks really good. This is like legit. And this is what I was talking about. Like in the in the July box, I was saying I don't like it when it's just kind of like poster art or when it's like computer graphics. They like took an actual picture and they just kind of changed it a little bit. I mean, maybe that was done with this, but it was done so much to a point where you can't tell that that's what it was. It legit, I mean, it looks like actual like art to me. So this looks really good. I'm very, very pleased with this. I like this a lot. I would gotten another, actually I gotten two other um, Pennywise or it uh, pieces of artwork through Bambox. One was in the expansion pack that had been done and one was just regular, you know, their horror box. So this will go well with those other two. I'm excited. Pretty good so far. I'm um I'm down. So I think the yeah the I think the pop is it. Okay, here we go. The pop is okay. Okay. All right, that's fine. I'm good with that. Uh, it's a signed Chucky pop. That's cool actually. I like that. From Child's Play Two, which. I'm going to be honest, I haven't seen... I know, this keeps happening. Oh, that's a really cool picture on the back. I like that. So it is signed by Ed Gale, who played Chucky in Child's Play 2, I assume. So I guess... Oh, okay. I'm like, wait a minute, he didn't do the voice. Okay, he was the um, the live-action portions of the movie he, that's who he was he he played actual like in the suit chucky on the shots where they had to have an actual person like moving and stabbing and doing all the stuff that he does cool that's cool i really like that that's cool uh, like i said i like the idea of the signed funko pops this is the first one they've done for horror this is a good one that's fun um and it's a good looking pop you know chucky's i gotta put it the right way but you can see chucky's holding his knife yeah and they have the protection on here, the pop protector, very good, because these boxes can get really dented up, and this just helps. Okay, so let me look and see what the variants were and whatnot. Okay, so we had the Ed Gale sign, Chucky Funko Pop, awesome, don't need to show that to you. There was one variant of the art print, which is a cool variant, and this is what I'm talking about once again, like make the variant different and don't just change a color um which they did that with the pins and i'll show you in a minute so that's still one of my pet peeves but look it's like legitimately different artwork for the rare piece of art and it looks really cool it's just a different view of pennywise and it's pretty badass i mean both of them are really badass so brian romero you did an excellent job uh now here we go to my problem which is the pin variant is just different colors so like the, to me that's not really that doesn't really speak like variant i mean more than anything it just kind of looks like warhol-esque where it's like here's a can of soup numerous times done in different colors <laughs> you know what i mean but um but the pin looks so good and to be honest looking at this like i don't even want the variants i just want the regular one because it actually looks like art the clown color wise like there are no color variants of Art the Clown in the movie, so I would rather just have the normal one, so I'm glad that that's what I got. Uh, oh, okay, so that, that this is what the coin's from. It's from Annabelle. Uh, comes from Ferryman Prop Coin. From Lord of the Big Screen, we bring you one of the Ferryman coins. I don't get the reference. I haven't seen... I saw the first Annabelle. 
I think I only like half watched it because I don't really like those movies all that much, like the ghost story stuff. Anything tied to the Warrens, I'm sorry. I know some people are going to watch this and be like, oh, I love stuff with the Warrens. Anything tied to the Warrens, like, I don't like it. Uh, me personally, like, believe what you want. I think it's all totally bunk. I think they're huge con artists, were huge con artists, and um, it's not my thing. But I'm not casting judgment on people out there who think that it is legitimately real. I know a lot of people like that. I just think for me personally, I don't think it's real. So anyway, I just don't really like that stuff. But those types of movies I'm not big into anyway. Uh, so for their big giveaway, they're doing a graded comic book, which is kind of cool. It's called The Clowns, and it's got a 9.8 rating apparently right there. I don't know anything about that, but it looks cool. They do good giveaways. Like the last one, the – the why is my – oh, well, I'll fix it later. Uh, the, um, the July one was the Clive Barker and Doug Bradley signed picture which is super super cool i put my name in to try and get that one but you know like everyone's gonna put in for it so who knows but anyway um this is a good box i'm actually really happy with this and here's the thing like i felt like the july one was a little bit of a letdown i think partially that's probably because um you had to wait so long for it you know so this is a really good bounce back in my opinion like i said i really do like this sign Funko pop this is very cool um, I don't really care about the coin because I'm not a prop person. This pin is outstanding, Brian Romero. It is outstanding. And this guy, I forget his name again, Sam Dolch, art print, really good as well. Really awesome. Uh, I'm very happy with this box right now. This this is a nice box. Great bounce back. Thank you, Bam Box. That makes me excited about um, the September one. Ooh, and makes me think even more about the October one. What are they going to do for the October one? Okay, people throw out your guesses. Uh, hopefully we can look forward to like a trick or treat or something like that in October. I don't know. Put your comments down there. What do you think they're going to do? Or uh, I think they, they already put out the information on the September one, but not the October. So let's guess the October properties. Friday the 13th, Halloween, trick or treat. Uh, ooh, I would hope for Halloween 3. Halloween 3 would be awesome. I know they did pins before, but like an art print from Halloween 3 would be really cool. Or like a signed mask. If they can get anyone from Halloween 3, I don't know. It might not be doable. But, uh, yeah, put some comments down there. Do me a big, big favor if you like any of my videos, this one or any of them, because I do a lot of movie reviews, and I think I do a pretty good job on them. But if you like anything I do, do me a favor, hit that subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. It encourages me to keep going, too. And it literally takes you a second. Totally painless. But thank you so much for uh, checking out this unboxing. It did cheer me up. So thank you, Bambox. I was having kind of a really crappy day. And uh, you cheered me right up. You gave me a big old Pennywise smile. <laughs> that was terrible. That was more like Mark Hamill from um, Jane Sop Bob Strike Back. There you go, Mark Hamill. <laughs> anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. Until next time, keep it brutal.